I'm Jane Salzano. I'm the founder of CSAC, which is Community Services for Autistic Adults and Children. I have an autistic son. Ryan was diagnosed when he was four and a half years old. He was a very cute little boy. The school bells didn't ring for Brian. For quite a few years, he stayed home with me and watched his older brother and sister go off to school. And as they left in the mornings, he'd often get his lunchbox and he'd be ready. He wanted some place to go to. There was absolutely nothing available for my son Brian. Uh, the only places that people went if they left their homes were institutions. I'm a believer in children growing up and away. So as typical children go to college, get married, I think a disabled individual should also find his own place in the world. CSAC gave Brian a life of his own. He moved in with two individuals his own age, with a counselor. Uh, they went out in the community, they went to movies, they went uh, shopping. One time I went away uh, on a vacation and when I came back someone said, oh I saw your son. He was on the street corner with his friends and I stopped and asked and they said they were taking the bus to the zoo. That made me feel very good because I knew that people did not visit institutions and that there were some terrible things going on in the institutions and I was so happy that when I wasn't there he was out in the community and I knew that people would notice if he wasn't well treated or if his clothes were dirty or full of holes. It wasn't easy starting CSAC. Um, people told me it couldn't be done, that those with autism could only be in institutions. CSAC created the very first supported employment services, not only in our county and in the state, but in the nation and the world. There are children in our public schools today who no one knows they ever had autism, but they did, and they are graduates of CSAC's Early Intervention Program. I'm fortunate to have eight grandchildren. Uh, one of those does have autism. CSAC has been a tremendous help to my grandson. His name is Nicholas. He's in uh, our residential school home, and so I visit him four or five times a week. And one of the things that we do together is he goes to music therapy. He loves going to music therapy and I enjoy going with him because it's so nice to see him happy and doing something different that other children have an opportunity to do. If I hadn't started CSAC, I would suspect that my son Brian, who is now 53 years old, would be living here at home with me. It would have been very difficult both for me and for him. And my grandson, I really am not sure where he would be. He might have been sent to a school out of state. I believe that every individual with autism has a right 
to live in their community. See the rivers on the go.